Hello children. Today we'll be doing a poem. The name of the poem is Hide and Seek by John Vernon Scannon. Now, this small little boy, he is playing the game Hide and Seek. So he's hiding in a room. And now he begins to shout to make everyone aware that he is ready. So he shouts, Yo ho! Yo ho! I am ready! Come and find me! Now he's quiet. Quietly he's hiding over there. And the narrator, the poet, he tells from the background, the sacks in the tool shed smell like the seaside. They are sacks, you know, big sacks. The sacks in the tool shed. Now, tool shed is a small building in a garden used for storing tools, things. So, the sacks in the tool shed smell like the seaside. They smell like salty salt water fish fish seaside you make yourself little in the salty dark you hide quietly in the dark room close your eyes tight and hope your feet Feet aren't showing. Don't show your feet. Because if they come in, they'll see your feet. Better now. Not risk another call. Don't say, hello, I am. You'll get caught. So don't make another call. They might be close. Just around you. So be careful. Shh. Don't sneeze. No, don't sneeze. Whatever happens, even if you have to sneeze, ah! don't sneeze. Whatever happens, the floor is cold. Be careful. And those boys over there, boys and girls, your friends, they are probably searching. Where's he? Where's he? Where's he? They are searching the bushes near the swing. You know the swing? The park? The swing. They are searching for you. Then somebody found something. And he's saying, Hey, what's that? Uh, heard it? You heard a sound? No, somebody said, What's that? That sounds like them. They are close by. They are coming in. Coming in. Shh. Don't breathe. Don't do... No. Or move. Don't breathe or move. Still. Shh. Still. Don't move. Attention. Tang. Someone knocks a can. A can. You can say tang. Someone knocks it down. Feet mutter. Some feet footprints. Some footsteps moving about. Somebody comes very close. Who is saying all this? Huh? The narrator, the poet is telling him. Somebody comes very close. So close your eyes. Tight. Don't open it. A scuffle of words. They are talking. <laughs> talking. Hey, yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. Shh. That's right. That's right. They're hiding. Yeah. A laugh. <laughs> and then they are gone. They might be back. Be careful. Don't come out. Careful. Be careful. In case they come back again. Then they'll try that greenhouse. That other house? Greenhouse over there? Huh? You know that room? Yeah, that building? That greenhouse. And then from there they'll come back here again. Now this boy is sitting down. 
so long. They're taking a long time. Now the poet telling him, they are taking a long time. But they'll come back. So you better stay there. Risk. You want to take a risk? Take a chance. Slowly. Risk a peep out perhaps. Just come on and check. Anybody there? Risk. No, 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 no. Not yet. The boy was thinking of going out. But the narrator's voice behind him telling, No, not yet. They might creep in. They might come back inside. The boy is looking around. Nice. Dark place. A good hiding place. This. This is a good hiding place which you have got. This is the best you have ever found. You can't find a better place than this. It's dark. Damp, salty, salty smell. He's still sitting. Then the narrator says, It's fine. So long. Long time has passed. It's funny though. They haven't tried again. They haven't come here to this house, this room. Can't hear a thing. Might be they'll be miles away, far, far away. The dark, damp smell of sand is thicker now. He can get the smell of sandy, sandy, salty, salty smell. Give them another call. Yo-ho! Yo-ho! Come and find me! Nobody? But they are still elsewhere. They are not here. They will think you are clever. And ask you where you hid. They will ask you where you hid. Huh? Where you were hiding. Don't tell them. You keep it a secret. And he is sitting over there. He is not moving. It is cold in here. You can't hear anything. But wait. Wait. Let them hunt. Let them hunt a little longer. There's a lot of time. Let them try. Think of them, huh? When they'll be searching, 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 they'll not find you. Think of them frowning. Duh! Yeah, he's gone. Duh! We don't play. Come, let's go. So difficult place. Where he went? Think of them frowning. They are frowning like this eyebrows, you know, coming closer like that. Getting angry because they can't find you at each other. And they might be saying, Yeah, where can he be? Someone else may saying, I don't know. I searched that greenhouse also. He's not there. I searched here also. He's not there. God knows where is he. Somebody will be saying, We looked all over. Something tickles on your nose. Your legs are stiff because of the cold. Damp cold. Stiff. Not moving. Just a little longer. Let me stay here for a little bit longer. And then I'll creep out. Then come out. I don't think so long Already 10 minutes have passed. 15 minutes passed. They are not coming back. Then the narrator continues by saying, You have tricked them properly. <laughs> you have tricked them. <laughs> All right. Push off the sacks. Push the sacks. That 
that's better. Now this boy also good. Good to be rid of that unpleasant smell, bad smell. Yes. Yes, like when you play a game and nobody finds you, how you happy you are? Yes. Yes. I have won the game. Yes. Then he comes. Ta -dan, ta -dan. And he comes out of the shed, that tool shed, that room. And he says, Hey! Hey! Here I am! Here I am! I'm here! I am here! I've won the game! Yo! I've won the game! You couldn't find me! That time, when he's outside, the darkening garden, the garden is dark. Nothing is moving. Everything is watching. Nothing stirs, nothing moves about. The bushes straight. You can hear. Birds. Dusk. Darkness. The air is cold. You're feeling cold. Yes, here you are. But we are there. Your friends? Who sought you? Who was searching for you? Nobody is there. Now, what have you understood by this poem? Yeah, it's a nice poem. But have you ever thought what message it could have given? Children, sometimes you do certain things which is not correct. You think you are doing right. But in the eyes of your parents, it's wrong. See, like for example, if you went away from home and hid in a place, in a place where no one could find you, and supposing, God forbid, anything happens to you, then your parents will feel very sad. They'll be searching for you. So, don't think you're playing a game of hide and seek with your parents or playing a game of hide and seek which can be risky. So whenever you are doing something in life, whenever you're doing something which you feel your parents don't know, let them know. Make them aware. See, like sometimes you go out of home, you're going to school, it's okay. When you don't come back, your parents get worried. So same thing, don't think, ah, good, and make them worried. They also shout at me, ah, today I'll show them. No, nothing showing. There's no win, win, win. You are the loser. Remember, after all, your parents, they'll be worried. They'll be sad. So this game of hide and seek is not just hiding. Don't do certain things which might cause problems. Okay, I hope you like the story, the poem, and it's a nice one, it has a message. So, don't forget, have a good time, and make sure you follow and listen to the advice of your elders. Okay, thank you, have a nice day, take care.